Well, it, it does look good on you, <laughs> being the first. Uh, I had to turn on auto, um, auto ads. Uh, ad is in progress. I don't know if you can hear me right now. If you can, let me know, because then I know that I'm not a screw up. Oh, hello, Mr. Number Two of the channel, Mr. Wenhack. You're welcome. How are you doing, mate? You're going to be lurking. Hope you are doing well. Haven't seen you around lately. So hope you are good. How was the um, the tutoring? You were tutoring a class. Let's take a look how that all goes. And it seems like my OBS is frozen. No, actually, no, it's not. Let me know if, if I'm still hearable, because I'm... Um... Yes, you, you have been, my friend. Mr. Mister PDD here has been an absolute mad lad. Okay, good. Um, so, Twitch has a new option. It has a new feature, which um, adds, automated oh, ads. Uh, currently, I've set these up. Uh, every 30 minutes for 30 seconds. I don't think that is too much. They actually set it to one and a half minutes. For every 30 minutes. <clears throat> Personally, too much for me. I, I don't, don't think that is what I want to do. So, yeah. Uh, I think 30 seconds every 30 minutes is actually great. Ooh, there you go, man. One underscore hack just subscribed. Yo, where is my cash going? To my wallet. No. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. 12 months. You are the very first one who's actually a subscriber for a year. Holy crap. Can I subscribe for a year? Am I affiliated for that long? Oh, damn. So much has changed. So much has changed. Oh, man. Okay, here we go again. Fair warning, lads. My dogs are out. They will make noises. I cannot help it. Uh, yeah, I, I could, but I don't want to. Uh, basically, they, they also need their freedom to walk around. So, what have I been doing? Um, yeah, we're getting old now. I know. <laughs> we are getting old. What have I been doing? Well, we, uh, we started upgrading at the end of the previous stream. Uh, to upgrade these uh, mining bases. So these are it. This is uh, a the silicon ore refinery. You can see there is the ore refinery and the ice uh, storage. Actually, they are called solid storage. And we also have the liquid storage, which is, of course, the methane, the hydrogen, and the helium. Uh, let's configure the station so we can actually look at it. Pretty much the same design. Uh, we can hold up to 8 million cubic meters of liquids or solids. And there you can see the... I think this is the helium. And then the hydrogen is over here. Actually, no, that's the hydrogen. Then the helium is here in Neptune. All of them are doing good. Which I, I really like. Because even my silicon is... Being able to keep up with the demand and supplies. Although, I, I have to be certain here. Okay, it seems like they are struggling to keep up with ore and silicon. Meaning, we'll have to... Probably... We don't really need the traders over here. We probably don't need them. Like, we, we did this so they would sell to uh, other empires. Just to, when, when we actually are rich in, uh, we'll take a look in here, the demographics. Uh, when we are watching this, we see that it's somewhat stable. Uh, in an hour or so, 48 going to 47. We're actually not that stable. When this is reaching, like the top of it, it, it is going to be extremely cheap. And, and this uh, trader, our ore traders, might be selling their stuff. 
to other uh, other factories, which I kind of approve of. We can use all the money we have because we're going to be saving up our cash. I'm saying saving up, but we're actually going to be getting ourselves a uh, another ship uh, in a second. But uh, we're going to be saving up to get ourselves a... What is the wolf or a shipyard that does the medium? Actually, I think it's a shipyard, the small and the medium ships. And that is what we are saving up for. Not so much on the uh, the trade station we don't really need it because we have all of our production in Saturn ex with the exception of course of our solar power plant that might be the only reason I would want to have a um, a dedicated trade station is to make sure that we can produce the energy over in Mercury uh, and also sell it in the Oort Cloud, but also as far as to Cigaris and the Void. Let's take a look here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Cigaris and one, two, three, four. We can sell it all the way up to uh, the first contact. Thank you. Thank you. It's been, it's been, hmm, it's been cozy. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> Cigaris. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cigaris. Sorry, mate. <laughs> so, um, we might want to do that trade station, actually. Uh, it's only for our energy. Um, but in order to actually do that, we, we're going to be changing all of our stations. Uh, and that's the reason why we actually started with our, uh, uh, let's say, our storage. So all of these are going to be very effective because we can take a look. Say we are building a mega station. We'll just add large ships to haul, right? To haul silicon to that base. Uh, we don't need a hundred medium ships flying left, right and center, just going all over the place, just creating a shit ton of traffic because those medium ships will need docking as well, currently, with the Terrans, you can dock up to 4 medium ships and 10 small ships. So, even though it is great for defenses when you have um, security drones, it might not be so good for uh, medium ships, because they will be creating a bit of a battle backlog, which is uh, annoying, to say the least. I've been thinking about making a design that goes more up and down in terms of stations like not not going wide but going tall uh in in terms of, but I, i'm still thinking about that currently we're saving and we would need thanks when uh we would need most likely a hundred and no let's say we 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 calculated this before uh, we would need pro approximately for, uh, 300 million to get the designs, get the weapons, get uh, the manufacturing, so the shipyard as well as the maintenance. So it's going to be going to be busy. Actually, we got 25 subscribers. That's one thing I want to be checking uh, because I think I might be able to add a new emoticon. Yes, I can. Awesome. Let's get that uh, third slot in there. Uh, right now, it's very professional of me to do, a, do, do this during a stream, of course. Uh, where's my thumbnails? That's over there. Let's go to live. Then go to emoticons. And we are, we're going to be adding the big brain time. Um, these are all created by Wenhack. So we'll add a third emoticon, big brain time. Um... So for you guys to have fun with, well, because we have 25 subscribers now, let's call it Big Brain. And I will uh, have to do a few more photos soon. Let's upload that. Is it saved as well? Uh, looks like it, yes. Looks like it, awesome. So for those of you who are currently here, that are subscribed, you can now use up to three customized... Uh, emoticons for uh, the stream. Also, this ruined my entire chat, so I don't know what you guys were saying because it doesn't show me the previous um, <laughs> previous things. Now, 
Okay, enough yapping. Enough yapping, enough running my mouth. Let's go over here. We're going to be creating ourselves a medium ship. Uh, and I'm thinking the katana. It has four frontal. I like having the turrets on top. Uh, the thing with the flax, the frigate, it has uh, as much weapons. It has. Well, let's do a heavy loadout here. Let's take a look. 20,000, 18,000 for re. Uh, burst damage 24. That's because it is using these uh, beam cannons, which I really don't like, but I will have to. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Evan, you are definitely using the new emoticons. Uh, and we also have beam turrets on the side. The top speed, 288. Let's go towards the Corvette. So it looks like the shields are a bit higher. The damage is the same. But look at this speed, guys. The speed currently is 596. That, is that right? 596. No way. Yes way. Uh, why not multi-engines? Quite frankly, we've not done any research. That's the only reason I've not been modding the engines. But see how much the difference is. Yes, we'll get a bit more hull. But we lose so much in speed. This ship... <clears throat> this, uh, this, this feels insane, to be completely honest. 600 is as fast as a small ship. Absolutely incredible. Uh, carry up to 100 deployables, 8 countermeasures, 40 missiles, and crew. I like having some missiles. Uh, let's take a look at what we'll do with weapons. Uh, should we add a few missiles? Like, the hull is definitely a lot lower. What shall we add in terms of weapons, guys? Maybe two of these masons and then add tracking missiles. I don't want my turrets as missiles. Okay, we can't do that. Uh, we might go with a beam ball or pulse. Let's take a look at the encyclopedia. Three rounds per second. Uh, the speed, somewhat important, especially if you're fighting very fast ships. Some of the weapon projectiles are really slow. Uh, effective range 3.4. Encyclopedia. 6 rounds per second. Projectile speed is a lot slower. It is a uh, 1000 meters per second. So, yeah, uh, maybe. Silicon carbide, micro letters. Yeah, we would look at this. We definitely need all of this. Luckily, not as much computer substrate if we are going to be making ships for ourselves. Uh, what about the others? It doesn't tell you the damage output, I believe. Yeah, it does tell you the damage output, but the effective range is 2.6. It's, it's basically, it, it, it tears through shields and tears through hull. Maybe we should keep those as lasers. So we will destroy, let's keep you as beam, keep you as beam, and we'll go with... Maybe some proton barrages. Almost four rounds per second, 2.8. So my turrets can actually hit first. How about the pulse lasers? Projectile speed is absolutely insane. The effective range is good, but they shoot a lot slower. So we're going to be, we need to ask ourselves, what do we want? Do we want to add weapons to Counter them fast, like 4.4 is, is nice to st start shooting, and that speed is insane, it will always hit. Uh, but it's just fires a round per second. But I don't want these to be my frontal weapons, I'm, I don't think they're that good. We'll lose a lot here in terms of a burst output. Maybe we should, you know what we'll do? We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go how the ship operates, 
how it works. I quite like that it's so damn fast. A lot of beams. Hopefully enough weapon damage to get started. We might just give it some some other stuff in here as well, like laser towers. I will never use those. I will never use those. Uh, three marines, three service crews, I'm quite okay with. You guys will be on whatever I say you are going to be. Let's add this ship. There we go. Two minutes, and then we will transfer that ship over towards our uh, Grand Exchange Headquarters. Uh, when it's there, we'll uh, we'll start doing the Bosotar mission. That is the goal for today. We're going to be started over there. We're going to be saving up on our money. Uh, we're going to tell you who is in Jupiter to get your ass over here. And I want you to dock and wait. But actually, before we do... Do we need to uh, repair? We might just give you lasers as well. I, re I really don't like that on these ships. They, um, maybe one or two. Mm, speed is 210. See how those slow these ships are? With the Terrans, small ships are almost useless. They're so slow. They are very, very slow. Now, the burst output is going to be, therefore, more important. Because they will fly in, and they will immediately get their ass kicked. Oh, damn, I'm still on Stellaris. Let's go on X4. Done. Sorry for that. I noticed that because um, I got a mark in the Paradox uh, community. So here we go. We're now on uh, X4. So very sorry for that. Do I want to have three of them? Uh, well, we do have the money. We might as well do it. We might as well do it. Anything else I want to change on this? It's now on a... We'll put you on a high preset. Let's uh, make sure you have the countermeasures. You have the crew. Sure. Let's do it. Confirm that order. I probably will have to run this game for a long time. We'll uh, eventually send the Velvet from the back for an upgrade as well. We're not going to be doing that right now. Of course, here's the Katana, who is going to go uh, dock and wait over there. Uh, when this ship is done, in a few seconds, he is going to join us up here as well. We need three ships for the next, but I think we also need anti-matter. Uh, unfortunately, we do not create that ourselves, but I think I can dock up with the Taladi trading post and get some anti-matter over there. So you go over here, dock and wait. We don't have to look into it. We are currently at our headquarters. So let's go ahead, take a look at the wonderful site that's going on on top of our head. There you go. Uh, this is the start of the uh, the Genesis mission as the Terra Terran Cadet. There's a ship flying there. What are you doing? Interesting. Let's go. We'll uh, we'll head over to Bosatar. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, security office. I've never been there actually. Let's take a look. Let's uh, let's let's take a look on what the hell is going on there. I don't think there is anyone. Yeah, what a security office that is. Not even manned. Oh, there's one other thing. Traders corner. Didn't check that in a while. Uh, we can't create anything. I don't have a seda yet. Uh, and I say yet, I, I decided after building those uh, stations that it was going to be time to actually have those. Uh, let's get that lodestone. We have... Yeah, we still need some stuff to actually play around with. Get you as well. We have enough of that. I don't care if I get scanned. Good luck out there. At all. All the save. Great. Man, my throat has been killing me lately. 
Uh, and you luckily have a mute button that I'm starting to get very familiar with. Oh man, it's way too early for me. Half past 7 a.m. Um, I will be streaming as well tomorrow morning. And tomorrow evening. So, yeah. Hopefully that will uh, suit your need. We'll do a lot more X4 because when this game's finished, when we stop doing X4... It's either going to be Phoenix Point or XCOM. Uh, and I have no experience in those games whatsoever. Uh, but I, don't you dare close on me. I'm still waiting to hopefully get some keys for Space Engineers. Okay, well... Let's go to the Science Laboratory. Here we go. We'll get a sh a cut screen right away. Quickly, come in. I cannot be sure, but it seems like we have an intruder. Perhaps some long dormant entity has awoken inside this facility, or maybe beings from the parallel realm have found a way through. Sorry to disappoint. It's just little old me. Don't look so shocked. I should be the one who's surprised to see you running this place, of all people. Intruder. Would you be so kind as to take two steps back so that I can enact the purge protocol? <laughs> and you, dear boy. A group of squid approached me to track you down. Luckily for you, I find such tasks rather troublesome. <coughs> okay. So. Uh, let's go. What happened to you? After the scale plate situation worsened, my ship was targeted. We didn't have much of a chance, and only a handful of us managed to escape in the pods. Once I was sure the survivors were safe, I started to piece together what happened. Uh, what happened to Reen? Reen turned herself in to the Argon police. She's working with them to help disrupt scale plate activities in Argon space. It appears that she didn't follow my instructions closely enough. A plan which hinges on the conduct of criminal madmen is not much of a plan at all. If you observe something long enough, you can account for anything. Even madmen. So why are you here? I started to hear rumors of a mysterious station appearing out of nowhere. Given that I just lost my pride and joy, I was looking for a new start. So I broke in. I was expecting to sweet talk some top secret government folks, but everything led to the boron. And you? You are an interloper. I'm the best damn interloper this side of the multiverse. With my analytic ability, your resources, and the boron's prickly demeanor, we can do anything. What do you say? Uh, let's give it a try. You won't regret it. I'll start measuring this room up so I can get my equipment out. You will do no such thing. This is my laboratory. You'll hardly know I'm here. I like this guy so much. I really do like this guy. So, uh, you have a storage department over here. And I believe we actually, um... Did we use this by any chance in the past? No, we didn't. Uh, we can drop in our unstable crystals. And our space X. And every time we get to the station, eventually the station is going to be extremely important. That's why we want to do the Genesis mission right now. Uh, we're going to be saving up our, our, our stuff that we don't want to be uh, get lost, like our illegal wares. Let's confirm that. Now, I have plans for this uh, station, other than what it's currently been uh, used for. Um, if we go to the map, uh, you can see that I've, uh, I've, we, we did start... Uh, construction over here. Uh, currently, this uh, station is able to make energy cells, uh, metallic micro letters, and silicon carbide. What I want to do is we're going to be redesigning it. Um, at some point, uh, this guy will be a level 5. And I want to be able to create everything we would need for, say, our research. Because quite... quite Currently, we're just waiting for the advanced electronics to pop in, which is annoying because I, I would have liked starting with the production module hack because that's way better. Um, after four hours of concentrating on this single question, I finally did it. What was your question? And I'm sure that I will not be able to answer it. Um, solar power plant is making a lot of cash. I really like that. High tech facilities doing good. This this is just making cash like crazy. It's unfortunate it does take so long to uh, get going on that. We'll um, assign more ships 
to this station actually uh, thinking about it right now we have two gas traders over here and an ore trader looks like he's barely able to keep up let's get you the ice guy over here that's two on two we have the computer substrate who currently only has one gas and one ore so we'll go to the helium station you're busy so that's the no go you're not doing anything i want you to trade for commander beta eventually we'll uh, assign large ships and these can be back to trader currently we're not filled uh the sooner we are filling the station uh, the sooner we actually will be uh, doing a lot of other stuff. You are planning to bring that to where? Computer substrate. Okay, that's good. I want you to trade for Commander Beta. Okay, that's also done. Uh, this one still has a trader. How are you doing in terms of ore and where? Let's take a look here. Uh, ice and methane. I think you can actually manage. You don't need as much. We, we, want, we want to expand this station quite a bit. Uh, because I want to have habitation. Not as much as I used to in the past. Because, oh my, there was so, so much things going on. Like, there's, even the ore trader is just searching for wares. It's not doing all that much. This uh, gas trader, and we have, it seems like one more ore trader. What are you planning? Computer substrate. You know, actually, you will need a lot of goods in this. You will go to the computer substrate. Um, because one cycle requires about 20,000 of these. So, if we can manage to push out right like if we can manage to um supply the station with enough resources and and heal uh, hydrogen is actually doing great because like currently one needs twelve thousand hydrogen and a buttload of force we actually need to upgrade the solid containers on the station um, to make sure that we can actually house what it is that we need. Uh, let's get myself a bit of a calculator on my phone so we can actually look around and then we can start it on the mission again. I get sidetracked, okay? We all do this when we play this game. 18 times 4 because I'm an idiot. 72. And we need that twice. Too tiny. I'm thinking large storage to the side. Uh, okay, large solid over there. Uh, is that enough? Well, I'm actually going to be removing, once this one is done, we'll be removing the solid storage over here and we'll probably build a larger one to the side. And we might just want to make sure we future-proof it. And uh, then we'll create a large uh, liquid one. And I'm thinking about doing that, if possible, at the center. And we'll have two on the uh, large uh, container storage on the side there. So let's start with two. Since that is the plan, we might as well just go overboard. Just make sure we have enough. Let's get started on this. Doesn't cost us. Let Yeah, of course, it costs us a build. So 50,000. That's fine, let's select that. We currently supply everything ourselves. We will accept the estimate. We will go to close all of these up, actually. This gas miner. We're going to say uh, removal orders and assignments. So that one's gone. There's no trader over there. No trader over here. Trade for build storage. That's the one that we will be using. There's no trader here and nothing over there. Let us get you. You are filled with helium. You need hydrogen. Methane. We could add you over here, considering the methane is a bit of an issue. Sure. We'll do that. 
Uh, let's get you to the high tech facility trade for commander. Bravo or beta. I keep saying it bravo. It's because I used to be an active servant soldier. So it's difficult to confuse beta with bravo. That will go. We will have to use the methane guy over here. This is the guy who's been doing all of my trading for build up. We'll use gamma. And uh, now we can close this off. We don't have to look at it. It will eventually finish. You will need a buttload more cash. But hopefully, we can actually supply the station with all it needs. Good. It looks like all of my ships actually arrived at the Grand Exchange. Uh, let us go over to Bosita. Hello there. You mentioned an Ericsson ship? a solar event in the Great Reef Nebula. I suggest you take care of this annoyance before it manages to disrupt even more observations. Okay, there we go. Something, something, find current. Yeah, I, I see why it took you that long to actually find the answer. It's such a weird question. <clears throat> okay, I got myself some new coffee. And we are going to undock. We're going to be looking at that uh, ship. We can also talk to him, but I want to do this in the future. Um, the mission is not in here. It's an odd situation, I believe. Uh, we got a lot of these bases to build. Uh, we do need to. And uh, we need to, sh to start shooting these, uh, these fellas. Uh, but I want to have a few more mediums for that. The medium ships of the Terrans are great. Absolutely fantastic. Just to, just just add a few with a lot of missiles. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's fireworks. I can tell you that. Let's go to the Katana. Okay, travel two, whatever. Also, why not just use Shift D? Well, because I'm 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 dense. Here we go. We got our Katana, the fastest ship we will ever fly. And it will have a lot of uh, capabilities for us, so that's good. I love this dock where you can just go upwards. I wish, and I truly ho uh, wish that they added a light to the character, and I don't think they have. Um, almost all seats are filled. That that cool ass logo everywhere. That's great. Hello. Hi. You get off my seat, please. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's press F. Someone just contacted me. Said she was a mutual friend. Have you been freelancing for the Terran High Command without keeping me in the loop? Ooh. Well, it doesn't really matter now. I suppose we all have our secrets. The contact said she wanted to meet to get the ball rolling on a covert operation, but she refused to discuss the details over the comms. You interested? Well. Now, Delilah is our contact for the Terrans, of course, um, and she has uh, a mission for us. Uh, it, it's, I believe it's the the pirate's trade, she is, he's pushing us forward to do this. But we're going to be starting with the Genesis mission. Let us um, undock. It will be different uh, flying, because the turn rate of the ship is, is not as good as, um, as the small ship. And of course, like like the weapons, see, it won't move with us. So that's the only reason I'd say, you know, that's quite annoying. Let's get a large scan out and start uh, pushing out. You just need to scan it. Uh, currently, lasers are on defense. We are looking for a large ship. Could you stop it? 
How's it going? I've looked into and analyzed the socio-political forces at play in the split territories. What did you learn about the factions? There are rumors of gates activating, leading into split space. A number of their ships have been sighted in several sectors. I'll try and find out all I can about split politics. You, meanwhile, investigate the rumors and try to find those gates. Cool. Can you now leave me alone, bit, mate? Because, uh... I didn't want you because you were annoying. There's the ship, finally. Okay, let's boost over there. Wow, the ship is absolutely fast. I like it. I like it. I don't like the weapons. To be honest, don't like the weapons at all. We might have to change them. Maybe we'll get uh, rockets, like missiles. But we can only carry 40, so that might not be the best option here. But we know this ship. The Orbeth. Now, before we can go, we need to go back because now we got ourselves a new mission to activate, entry to a new world, to activate the uh, the, the old jump gates. So we're going with Season Assist, activate that one again. Not oh, it only can be with a small ship. Isn't that nice? Well, luckily for us, there's other means to do so. <laughs> we just have to be creative. Oh, that's a creative way of exiting. Head over here. Is the Orbeth? Okay, there is a entry point. Should be enough. There we go. Ah, we back on the Orbeth. Hello. Hello, sir. Let's get you a bit of lighting. There we go. That's the space bar. Greetings. I am Dr. Rick Feynman, chief scientist of the Oberth and in charge of Project Genesis. Wait, I know you, don't I? Mr. Hariken, is it really you? You work for us at the station. We didn't expect biological matter to have survived this transition. As I was saying, we are looking into how this station got here. Our research vessel is currently observing anomalies and gravimetric shears in this region. Okay, so this is uh, Project Nen uh, Genesis. I'm sorry to inform you that you currently lack the required clearance to access this information. Anything else? Really? Oh, I see. Yeah, I know what's going on. We do need to do the Delilah quest first. Um, because uh, once the pirate trail uh, stops, she will direct you to this fella, I believe, again. We are currently lacking antimatter cells to complete our observations. If you can organize a delivery to this vessel, we'll be able to greatly advance our timetable. Maybe not. It appears that they are researching the same anomaly which brought the station over here. Most of the gravimetric charge dispersed during that event. But they brought quite an array of equipment to examine the traces. Let's just hope that this satisfies their curiosity leads to their departure. Will they be able to use those traces? Just barely. This examination proved most useful for reconstructing the events of the electrical discharge. Let's get back in our ship. Uh, thinking about getting the small ship so we can actually just dock. Hello. Uh, but we need anti-matter. Uh, we might as well just go uh, try to find that. Anti-matter. Mm, probably didn't type that correctly. Anti meta cells. Wait, are, do we have those? Do I have those at the station? No, I don't. He's buying. Where do they sell? Uh, we need to get one of the guys over here, potentially. Okay, salt. Sold over there. Is that station still alive? Uh, I was actually docked at the station. 
And it was... No, actually, I was docked at this station. It was getting a beating. I even got a game over due to it. Refined goods? High-tech factory. Anti-matter cells. Okay, cool. Set guidance over there. And go autopilot. Let's see how the autopilot is handling this. Uh, but it should be way faster than any of our small ships. Oh, yes it is. Still hate the weapons, though. But maybe it's good. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll just have to make sure that we align. And we'll just shoot everything we've got at them. He is fast. Look at that. That's great. That's actually quite good. Okay, look at our stations. How is this guy doing? It looks like he just needs a tiny bit more in the storage. Yeah, energy cells. Mm, that's a matter of time, I think. Can he actually get those? I think you can. Currently undocking. Auto saving the game. Well, um, I think think he is we will actually get that uh, during uh, with our frogs our frog should be able to get it <clears throat> it's within five jumps of our uh, energy cell factory so it should be okay uh, we also want to take a look at how many ships currently are busy at the energy factory because if it's if they're all busy we need more ships and I'm actually thinking about Doing some more mediums there. Uh, I believe we have t 10 smalls. If we can do Entering system. another 10. Because it's actually doing good. Oh uh, no. One, two, three, four guys not doing anything. So we don't need that. We don't need that. Let's. Uh, I love that the hut is, is real... Slim. You don't need to turn it off per se. Uh, you could, of course. Yeah, maybe I will. I like the additional view where you can just, you know, lay back, hang, and chill. Love it. Also, they're at negative 11, so it we have some work to do. Speaking of that. Let's wait until we uh, get some more movability back. Uh, we passed a few stations here. Oh, that's a defensive station. Uh, we'll go over there. We'll, uh, we'll finish up with the station we need to. We, once again, are looking for criminals. And we need to shoot two more. And then we've done um, the Pontifex as well as this, this is the God Realm. Uh, we have the Taladi. Uh, Argon. Ooh, this ship has a really slow stopping rate. Oh, that criminal got away. Okay, this is uh, a bit annoying. I might have you. I should have used my um, mother ship for this. Especially because we cannot really um, aim. Okay, give it a few minutes, give it a few seconds, not minutes, give it a few seconds for those guys to uh, spawn. He did spawn some, uh, some station defense, they're currently docked. Once we shoot that criminal, Admiral Griffiths, hello, how are you doing mate? Okay, there's nothing over there. Uh, let's head over to... That station. Okay, we'll have to drop out of this traveling mode. And I think this is one of those... Online... I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm uh, I'm having fun this week. We got so I got some additional time off. Let's go with 15. How far do we drop? 15 drops us almost right into weapon range. That's good to know. Uh, so I've been streaming quite a, quite a bit. Uh, enjoying my time playing some X4. Still considering what to do next. Because eventually this um, 
we'll have done everything that we can. It won't be anytime soon, though, because this game is this is exceptionally long. Okay, let's wait until those uh, drones appear. We need two more. I still have to do that, because I read the message, like, last night, and and well, it was ready to go to bed. So, I still have to check out the, the, the YouTube channel concerning the Star Citizen. Um, I think after this, we do a different game, indeed. Instead of... Diving back into X4 will give it some time to actually settle and uh, rethink. Uh, the Knights of the Old Republic is a very good idea. We also have Phoenix Point and XCOM. Okay, so the drones are appearing. Just give me one. Also, one thing. Uh, put your mining. You're not mining drones. So, <laughs> I don't need my lasers to mess up my reputation. Come on with those uh, criminal vessels. Now we'll think about it. I'll, I'll throw it into a, um, a poll on YouTube. Because they took away the chat function in Twitch when you're offline. Which I really hate. Uh, I want to see if there is a vote option for Twitch uh, as a panel. Ah, there's nothing just spawning here. Let's go to the next one. Two criminals is all I want, is all I need. Yet. My knees are so far away. I, uh, I want to have the, um... Venex says yes. We have to, like, there is a option to get that in a panel. Because I don't need them during a stream. I It's actually when people actually join my channel mostly when I'm offline. Which is mildly frustrating because I would, of course, be the one... Um, see how, how long it takes for them to... Oh, wow, I hate these weapons so badly. Yeah, I can't, I can't do this. See how, how bad, how, how little they are. Could you stop? He's going to get away because of these damn weapons. See that loading times forever. He's going to get away. Yeah, he's docking. Seriously? These weapons suck! Holy crap, how did you take down a large ship with these weapons? It's incredibly annoying. Oh, here we go again. Okay. Um, current target. He gets away! Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Yeah, he's just hiding. <laughs> this is actually very frustrating for me, guys. Because I can't reach him. Also, I'm an idiot, and this is the Holy Order of Pontifex. Okay, there's one thing we'll, uh, we'll have to do. There's no way of, of doing this. Uh, let's get ourselves my velvet. Close you off. Velvet. Uh, I need you to get over here. 
Fly and wait over there. Fly and wait over there. We're going to be flipping ships. We're going to be sending this ship back. We're going to get a lot of our cash back. And I will also do that with the other ship. Because this is just... This is not even mildly frustrating. This is very frustrating. Uh, we'll go to... Well, it actually doesn't matter where we go. We can also go here to the Segas. But uh, I want you to upgrade. Did we... Yeah, we actually got these proton barrages. Proton barrage. Proton barrage. We'll get 5 million back. Add to shopping list. Confirm order. When that's done, I need you to be back at our headquarters. We could create, of course, the Google Form. But I'm kind of wondering if there is a different option or different approach for that. Like, he is slow in the ships fast. And I wouldn't mind getting it. Oh, yeah. Tell her to uh, proceed with current orders. I love she's interacting with navigation. Ooh, no, that is fun. I like... Are you flying through a station right now? Very directional, I like it. Okay, Mercury is already here on the way. He is also heading over here. Okay, see how different this is. Fly and wait over there, please. She's uh, actually heading back. I don't need that. Okay, you head over there. This is somewhat the same position. That's my Velvet Thunder. Currently in Pious Mist. So he's already in the sector, that's good. Uh, don't do this. Don't be me. Because you can find yourself at a very horrible position. Let's wait here. For my ship to come. I'm going to be telling this... This contraption... To upgrade. Give me Proton Barrage. Proton Barrage. We'll add some uh, missiles at some point. We'll get 10 million back. Confirm the order. And then I want you to dock and wait over there. Get out of the hull. We are currently stuck with it. There we go. That's better. What the hell is that? Is that a wreckage? Oh, that ain't bone. That ain't good. Okay. Where's my ship? My ship is over here. Can I help? Uh, goodbye. Sure. He's still flying. Let's wait until she's there. Velvet Thunder. Go towards me. I'm traveling with 7 meters per second, so... That's fine. She will overshoot, I think. Oh, that ain't bad. That's the wrong button. I always do that. Let's go. So, send it the ships back. We're back in the Velvet Thunder. It's not as fast, but it has better weapons. <laughs> for me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Way better. Way better. Uh, let's go over there. Uh, we still need to get two criminals. It is what it is. And then we get these anti-matter cells because currently we are unable to dock. Uh, there's three bases on a row that uh, we can visit for criminals. Hopefully they are there. So, um, yeah, for those of you... 
Uh, five minutes. Apparently it's giving me a five minute heads up until these automated ads, which I'm trying out. So let's get over here. Uh, press T, which is my targeting button. You will have to change this button because usually it's on Shift T. And with T you will then get uh, modules. Let's get you. You won't get away from me this time. Oh no, I heard. I, I know you've been talking to your pal. Uh oh, did hit the ship. Did hit the station. Okay, now give it some time. Slowly head over to that um, solar power plant. Shall we claim... I think we want to be claiming fortune, uh, Neptune's fortune for ourselves. And start building the base over there. And then we'll move our production away from the headquarters. And we can sell stuff over there. We'll, we'll get so much reputation from it. Now, come on. Give me the reputation. Negative one. Um, positive one. Before I spy with my little eye, another criminal. Sometimes it takes so long. Come on, you can do it. Look at that ad. It isn't. It is. I don't think it's part of the station. No, it's it's not. Definitely not part of the station. Don't shoot it when you are doing the uh, reputation stuff. Come on, thank you for your help. You don't have to be shy about it. Maybe they just didn't feel like it because we actually hit the station. Drones are spawning by now, right now. I don't think it's happening. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Just make sure it's not um, the Pontifex. Because we already have a positive relation with them. Now, the God Realm you will mainly trade with... As well as the Taladi. But I think the God Realm will have a better economy currently. So we'll get over here. There's another ad over there. Wait until their own spawn. They're spawning over here. Spawning some over there. And uh, we have a criminal. Why don't I see you? There you go. Come on, mate. Thank, thank me for my help. For my courage. <laughs> we'll head uh, towards the next station. Uh, let's not hit this ship. Maybe they're just not willing to give me anything. I'm starting to really be doubting this. Okay, looks like payment received. And we got reputation, thankful. So my uh, katana actually made it and uh, refitted itself. It's now on its way back. Um, the, uh, the, the curie, the curie, or whatever the ship was called, uh, will take a bit longer. Let's wait until uh, the drones get going. There's one station security. They might go aggressive. That's why you don't want your turrets on defend. You don't want them to destroy the uh, the station security. You want to just bail out. Come on. If, if it could be over here, then I would be very happy because we actually need to be at this station. 
It's not happening. Okay, uh, other stations. There is a trade station over there by the looks of it. Let's go. We'll go there. Keep pressing T. Eventually we'll find our way. Get going on this. Uh, looks like... There is a emergency alert because they currently are at war with the Pontifex. We can play both sides if we want to. You, there is actually an achievement if you do that. Uh, in which you will uh, fight as well as for the Pontifex, as well as for the uh, the God Realm. Or Air Argon to whatever. It just needs to be two opposite uh, sides. To uh, make it count. We'll go here first because it is on our way over. Uh, once we shoot that criminal we can bail out. Can we select the station please? You know, I can't select it. I'm clicking like a madman. This is so weird. It's awkward. I'll have to select it from the map then. Spawn me a criminal a microchip yeah we need the hack uh, once we get the hack we can get all of these done we'll get some um, EMP uh, we're going to be making sure we get everything needed to make advanced electronics that will uh, bank you completely out there's a lot of stuff that we can build I believe we can have up, have up to 20 factories if we need it, but I, I will make a bit more efficient uh, design for my factories this time. So not too many stations. I had a horrible time defending it in my uh, Pontifex series. Absolutely. It wasn't funny at all. Uh, we were just being harassed every time. Come on. Drop me a criminal. I do like the movement though. As well as that you can see the earth there, the, the, the planet. I'm not saying the earth, but the planet is actually spinning. It's actually making me very dizzy. Uh, there we go. I was about to give up. There we go. And autopilot all the way over to deliver 10 units of antimatter cells. Wait, I don't have them. I do I? God, if I have them, that's I feel like I don't have those. Yeah, you're going back. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I think we could potentially, once again, it's, it's auto saving. Uh, we need to applaud this, especially with my flying abilities. I think we can get it at the, the Pyramid Trade Station. So we'll head over there, we'll get the antimatter, and we'll, uh, we'll fly over to the Orbeth. We now have a small ship, so we can just dock, which is a lot easier. And we'll form a fleet with all of these ships. And uh, if we have an, an, another ship to patrol around our headquarters. Now, it's quite possible. Do you have antimatter cells? Look, salt. It says it is selling over here with the refined goods. Which I find is odd. Actually, yeah, you have them. Let's go over there. Otherwise, we'll go towards this. It's quite possible they don't have it.
or we have to go all the way over here to one of these high-tech factories. We'll see. Uh, let's, talk, let's take a look at overview. Maybe we can see that the advanced electronics are coming in. No, they are not. Damn shame, though. We are selling energy if we have uh, a spare. Well, I want to start claiming this territory. Uh, this one. Neptune's fortune is a great area to claim. Is my computer substrate factory done? It doesn't have the energy cells, but the looks of it. Do you get it? Uh, he's getting, currently, he's getting over 5,000. 350 while we just need five, five, 530 which is just in just it feels so wrong it feels so wrong that they they do it like this you, we don't need this amount we don't need that this baldrick doesn't need to be filled completely okay let's dock and see if we actually can get those 10 antimatter cells. Okay, come on. Uh, trade. Uh. We'll go to the trade stations then. Maybe this one. It's going to be so annoying. Anything over here? No. No. I remember um, that I took the longest time actually getting the first antimatter cells uh, that should be a antimatter cell factory around here indeed pharmaceutical high tech and you're telling me it's the argon high tech fine are you actually producing it it they say you have a buttload of them But I don't think you will actually sell them. But we'll, we'll go there. Okay, but Katana is back at the Grand Exchange. That is so annoying. Luckily, it's with the highway, guys. Oh, okay, we'll, uh, we'll keep our map open with, of course, the anti-meta cell. Let's go towards my Velvet Thunder. We'll keep a close eye. If we see... Like, they're, that's, they're buying. Like, they're buying. If they're buying, they also sell somewhere. Actually, heading the other side. If we see a salt with a price, like, and, and this hexagon. Because we are updating trade when we fly by them. We can immediately... Here we go. No, they're buying it. Damn it. See how much you can buy, or you can sell over here. The economy is completely bust. Buy. I know we can just offset this and just say sell orders, but I'm lazy. Entering system. Of claim. Just want to make sure that we get the antimatter cells. No, no. Close these off. So we have an easier view. Or refinery. That's just. There's a. There's a lot. Oh, the xenon there are present like crazy. We can have some fun over there. Uh, send in our ships. Uh, I'm. I'm semi certain they will prevail. Well, one can never be too certain. That's true. Entering system. Second contact. Oh, is there no antimatter cells here whatsoever. Entering 
That is so annoying. Keep those fingers crossed, guys, because if if they don't have it, we are basically screwed. We uh, we can't get it in the Terran territory. Okay, so we're at. Um, okay, you are currently proton barrage. So you actually made a trade. So we're up to 40, 49, 5. Let's take a look how much money we actually got right now. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Slowly snaking away over there. We could also go to the... Um, Taladi. We can go to the Taladi. We can get everything we need. We need to start producing claytronics and stuff over here with the trade station until we start this up. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Uh, configure the station. I don't want too much around here. Uh, computeronic substrate. Over there. Confirm that. I will put you on no restrictions. One module costing 2.4 million. Currently, uh, energy cells is going in. Computronic substrate is so far not had in over. We can always transfer. Ah, there we go. They're doing a great job. Let's take a look. What do we lack? Uh, we need helium, methane, or silicon. Uh, what we need to get is... Oh, yes, they have it. They have it as well as a build mission. Let's take this. It's the best. Dude, shut up. It's uh, Doc over here. Good night, Wenak. Thank you for stopping by, man. Hopefully you'll have some more time uh, soon. Just just fly anywhere. Should probably oh, work. Docking. Avoid docking granted. Okay, let's get the antimatter cells. Successfully docked. Uh, we'll head back towards our own station. We're going to be getting... I'm currently thinking about... Two ore miners and two liquid miners. This is the one we're going to be doing. Gravimatic studies. Let's activate that. Uh, let's go autopilot because we now have the antimatter cells while we get stuck inside of this base. Yes. Thank you. Drop your cargo. Uh. He's going to be pissed. Drop the cargo. What are we looking? What, what what are you what are you yapping about? They're over there. We're not dropping anything. Ah. Uh. I'm not going to be... Um, I don't have anything they want uh, currently in the territory I'm at. Nothing is 
illegal over there. Might kick me a bit in the nuts here with the Taladi. Negative four. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, the three families I don't care about. These guys I want to kill. The Ministry of Finance is from the Taladi. There's the Yaki. I want to be friends with the Yaki. They have some cool ships. Yeah, okay. Uh, we were going to get... Okay, let's turn this damn filter off. Buy ships. Medium. Minor. Or minor. Uh, we're going with the gas miner. Uh, we'll do two on two. Like I said, here we go. Confirm those. We uh, we do we do have the money. We might as well go for it. Uh, while we wait until we get everything we need to occupy Napoleon's fortune, we'll start with a defensive admin station right here, probably at the center. Uh, we'll build some more just so we don't lose it the second they get pissed. Uh, we'll claim the this system first. Then we can start building up with the scale pirates. Currently, the scale are at negative five. Uh, I want to make them plus 20 as well. Why not? Uh, if we can trade with them, by all means, we might just drop a few tr uh, ore miners in this sector to supply them with whatever they need. It's fine. It, it will actually... It, it's good for your wallet. Uh, and great for your reputation. It works like crazy. Uh, we have a gas miner here, the Alligator. What a cool name. What a cool name. Okay, how is my stuff doing? Uh, computer substrate. Seems like you now have everything you need. You are building the first large solid storage. Then we can tear down the medium. We will replace the it with a container. Then we will remove the container, we will replace that with a large uh, liquid. And then this station, all it would need for the future is a large docking port. And we can just expand on the base. Um, we'll, we'll see if we can make it fun. I'm thinking about it, maybe like flipping it or whatever. Uh, we'll see. This can go, that can go, it will go over time. Uh, you are... You're building up, so that's good. You got 47,000 ore. And you got 216, 72, 221, 246. The helium station is... I think the um, the one I recently finished was the hydrogen station. It's building up like crazy. Uh, even the ice station. Well, you only need ice for the food, so you don't need that much. Uh, we can also do illegal wares in this system and sell that to whomever it wants. I have no problems with that. Uh, once this is done, we also need to get a Baldrick to start transferring the wares towards the build site. It needs to be defended. Uh, currently, we do have some weapons. They're not the best weapons. We also have some missiles, but we uh, it, it, it's going to be a lot. And we'll probably start with silicon carbide, uh, computer micro, micro letters, and um, the computer substrate over here, because I will use the Terran... Um, Baseboards, I will just call them baseboards, but the modules, except for the uh, the other refineries, we will need claytronics, hull parts, and so I believe there's two more claytronics, hull parts, and there's two more, or whatever. It's fine. Uh, we'll eventually get those. Uh, currently, we need to get towards the Ministry of Finance. To get them to like us a tiny bit as well. And we need to get some scouts in here to start exploring the systems. Do I want to be bothered with a autopilot that clearly doesn't know how to bloody fly? Autopilot. Engage. 
hell are you doing, autopilot? You're fired. Yeah, we want to boost up productivity over here and then remove everything and just move it into Neptune's fortune. There, I believe there's 100% sunlight. It's not the best, of course, but, oh well, it has a good mission. No. Entering system. Artifacts claim. Okay, let's see if he actually gets out of Entering system. the lane itself this time. We'll just help it. Don't fly in there, please. Just go there. Don't be weird. I can't wait until we can actually start all of this. This is going to be helping me quite a bit. The additional money will get us um, a shipyard. Which we could potentially build over with Grand Exchange or Pontifex. Grand Exchange... It has a immense reach. Uh, because it can go all the way over. Like one... Let's say one, two, three, four, five. Uh, but also uh, one, two, three, four, five. And also uh, one, two, three, four, five. All the way to Silent Witness. And there's a bunch of systems over here. It probably reaches the entire galaxy. So if you want to make a massive trade station, and not on your headquarters, because you will be jumping that thing around. That's why I don't want anything that is constructing on it. Okay, we're at Neptalia's fortune. Uh, when do these things arrive? Yeah, this one's taking a bloody long time. These are actually quite fast. An unknown ship is bringing us silicon carbide. That's interesting. Like, I, we only need basic storage in here. Let us get these guys. Send you off here to mine for Commander Alpha. And the manager of this is a level 2, so they can go 1-2 uh, to Pious Mist. I'm not sure if you, we can actually get towards a good position for you to... Go. Well, we have helium over here, methane and hydrogen. It's not a whole bunch. Could be enough. Still the first storage. We'll keep this open. He's the... Um, Trading for Builder can always... Oh, that is possible to do that as well. Is get a Baldrick to trade for Commander to get the research going. Not a bad idea, actually. Let's get a Baldrick. Uh, when that's done, it's going to be trading for Commander. How is this going? 92.8. I want to see this back at 100 if possible. We're back at the base. Well, not the base, but the ship. Antimatter cells, 10 of them, confirm. Get up. Hello there. Thank you for your continued assistance. We need your help in putting this antimatter to good use. We will need ships at the specified location to initiate. 
initiate a synchronized long-range scan. We will be enlisted, but if you have any friends who can join us, now would be a good time to ask them along. Okay, now that is why I wanted three ships over here. Let's undock. Because you will need three. Three ships at... My map is weird. Oh, he's auto-saving. Of course you do. Uh, three ships you will need to complete this mission. That's why I have all three of my ships over there, the Katana. And then we'll do, have to do a few more missions and we'll get into that Taurus station, which I hate. Don't, if you want to know why, just, just watch my Terran series. It's just me getting very upset at some point. When I just laughing his balls off. It's basically the gist of it. He was having the best time ever. Could you stop with your damn ads? Damn, okay. Could you stop spinning around? Thank you. Okay, let us uh, scroll down. Go to the Velvet Thunder. Uh, you will see three locations. Get off my seat. Velvet Thunder. I want you to go over here. Fly and wait. I want a Curie to fly and wait. And I want the Katana to fly and wait over there. Three ships, three locations. And this guy is going to be trading for Commander Bravo. Or uh, Beta. Beta. It's Beta. It's fine. Uh, this we can close off. Okay, first solid storage is done. Now, in, in order for us to at least get the best of our of our builder, let's configure the station. Uh, we're now going to be telling it to remove this. Then I want you to replace it with a container. And once that is done, we need to remove the container and then add uh, liquid and another container. And I don't want to remove it right now because we are using our own money for this. Let's confirm this. Add additional funds. Close that off. Currently, there are some SpaceX over there, which is cool. And I, once again, did not tell my ship to proceed with current orders. That is so annoying. You. Didn't I tell? Okay, you're over there. That's good. And the other one is there. So basically, the entire fleet is waiting for me. That's just lovely. That is just lovely. Refined goods over there. Yeah, once this is done, this, this station, this Grand Exchange headquarters, I'm thinking about beefing it out completely uh, with defensive turrets. Just to make sure that we will never use it. Eventually you can build these, uh, but not right now. Okay, you're slow as hell. Get the hell out. She was just flying down cruising speed. Like, come on. I know there's asteroids here, but don't be a wuss. It looks like you're positioning your ship for the synchronized scan. Please try to be precise. We don't want junk readings cluttering up our database. Once you initiate the scan from your ship, the other captains will follow your lead. Very good. We are receiving the data stream. We've got what we were after. Thank you for your support. You're welcome. We're far from home, short on hands, and have additional tasks which need doing. Please meet me on our ship to discuss our next steps. Okay, let's head over there on the autopilot, and I'm going to be telling, don't forget this. Dock and wait. 
talk and wait. It's horrible if you find your ship lost. It is truly, truly not funny. We didn't get a builder for this, did we? Autopilot disengaged. No one near, huh? Get you. Go. Okay, that's done. This is all heading over, and then we uh, will get that builder done. We'll, we'll have everything we need for the station. Uh, we might need to tell you to go easy on this. 500. Uh, we don't want to buy anything. Only me. Currently not selling it, so 500 is what we want. Uh, the silicon carbide, a thousand, and we'll get the computer substrate. Uh, we'll um, can do a buy order, of course, but uh, we don't need to. We will be constructing it shortly, so no buy orders. We'll create a sell order, daily fix only, and if possible, we will need this uh, more than anything else. Is a thousand. Maybe it's a bit low. We do have some storage. How about... Two and a half thousand. Uh, we'll get you to two thousand. You can stay at five hundred because we, uh, we frankly, we only need the, the energy cells. Who um, currently are maxed out at 91,000. And we're not selling because, well, we were not very friendly now, were we? Eventually, they will start selling. It's good. Okay. So, we, uh, we're we at the orbit. Let's dock. And we'll go talk with the uh, Rick Freeman. Get up. Ooh, mouse is feeling awkward. Slow. Hello there. It does feel slow, I don't know why. Go to the bridge. And get a bit of light going. Greetings. Losing access to our research facility was what prompted this expedition. You, of course, witnessed this firsthand. Yeah. Now we have not only located our facility, but also taken precautions. If it disappears from under our noses again, we won't have such a hard time tracking it down. So, what is your plan? We've prepared some software which will help us regain access. But our ship isn't really inconspicuous enough to plant it on our station. The malware should be subtle enough to go unnoticed by the current occupants. It will be your job to plant it at this location, identified by our analysts. According to the annotation on the station plan, there should be a signal leak next to what looks like either a valve or a window. But you'll find out when you get there. Okay. Hello. Hi. Bye. That's on dock. Okay, luckily we uh, we just need to be close to our own station. Let's get over there. Uh, let's see how far we can actually boost this. We won't be fighting. There is a asteroid behind it by the looks of it. Oh, we can actually boost a long way. Okay, we need to scan it. I don't want to dock. Or do I need to... So 
best to not arouse suspicion. And if Bozo has it under control, all the better. I like that um, now that he is actually at the station, he's uh, also interacting. Go scan this uh, source. Wait until download is completed. Oh yeah. Well, we know we can boost over there now. So we will. It looks like one of my mining ships is... No, oh, no, they're not close. Wait, are they still waiting? They aren't, right? No, okay, they, they both are docked up. Okay, that's good. Would have been very awkward otherwise. Now, the Baldrick and the mining ships, they, they will take some time to actually get here. Docking granted. Uh, because they're just slow. They're, they're minimalistic designs. Uh, once we're starting to make a good, I don't know, like 100 million an hour... I'm actually planning on upgrading all of my ships to the best possible designs, just to additional speed. It's not bringing you that much for what it is costing you, but still, it's good enough. Yeah, yeah I'm already docked, thank you. Go to the bridge. Talk to this one doctor. Come on, Rick, tell me. Get a bit of light going. What is it now? Don't you be so smug. What is this? He he gave you our research? Unbelievable. But you were supposed to plant software. How did that happen? I uploaded it to my ship. I clearly underestimated this Boron and his capabilities. This means we can continue with Project Genesis. It is our uttermost priority. We better not make an enemy of the Boron. So we'll leave him in possession of our station for the time being. We'll have to come back better prepared if we want to recover our station. I love that he's saying our station. Like, he, he just found it in space and he just decided it was his. I didn't think we'd make progress this fast. Regardless, we could do with a little more of your assistance. You'll be helping one of our associates in acquiring research that is vital to Project Genesis. There we go. What is it about? In short. Our future. The Sagara pioneers aspire to take a step up in the galactic community. Project Genesis will help us build a foundation for our new future. Okay. Who am I working with? An independent scientist. Let me contact them. <sighs> Greetings. We are sending you the pilot you requested. Uh, you qualify? Yes. No, no, don't worry. This one's at least a two-star pilot. Expecting him at the experiment site. <laughs> okay, he is heading your way. That's I'm right here, dude. To Kuramon Comet. They are experimenting with a phenomenon in the void and will instruct you on your part once you get there. This may seem unconnected at first, but rest assured, you are helping mold our future. It seems that you are missing crucial spacesuit equipment. Take this with you. It will be useful later on. Uh, I ain't missing Jack, dude. Exactly what they're trying to achieve. They are hoping to colonize a planet as a new home for their people. The Terrans once meddled with such terraforming technology, which resulted in the creation of the Xenon. Let us hope that the Sigara's pioneers are not repeating their mistake. Yeah, we kind of don't need another Xenon. Let's uh, talk to this freelancer pirate who was so disappointed seeing me. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll use this ship, the Velvet. Because I believe we have not that much use in a medium ship. Let's undock. Autopilot. 
That's all the pilots. He is in Napoleon's fortune, which is next to us. Oh, that's not true. He's in the void. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that um, so-called cloaked ship and we'll have to fly to Earth. To this station. Which is still something that hunts my dreams. Computer substrate currently is waiting for supplies to get its container done. We now have a hundred thousand. Now all four, all all four of the modules need seventy two, so we can actually uh, definitely get more stuff going on that station, um, and it will be. Every hour it needs to be resupplied. Every hour it needs to be resupplied. So it's going to be quite busy. Now, like I said, we wanted to make this as easy for the builder as possible. And how can we add large docking ports on this without making it look like damn dragon? We can make it over here and then drop it down from here. Uh, we want to lower... No, we'll wait. We'll wait with the large docking port until that part is done. No. So, did my Baldrick arrive? There is an energy Taladi coming in, and I'm thinking he's going to be buying energy cells. Look at this. So many of them. And it's fine, uh, because when you do research, it, it also waits um, to research tab. It will hold these 2,000. 2,000 is nothing. We have plenty of time. We need the advanced electronics, though, which is a bloody nightmare to get. There's the Baldrick. Our Baldrick got the advanced electronics. Great, because we need to beeline teleportation. Uh, we're going to be going all the way up to the end until we do the station relocation. Uh, it's going to be important for the Genesis mission. Uh, but by the time we get that done, we want to have claimed Napoleon's, uh, Napoleon's Fortune 2 for ourselves with a good defensive base over there. And we will start to get uh, some factories done and running. They don't have to be as large as the one we have in Terran territory because I highly doubt any of these species will use them. It's just for us so we can keep building the modules we want from the Terrans. And then we'll start focusing on getting into hull parts, getting into claytronics, getting everything we need in order to build stations. And um, we'll start selling those. So we will most likely get a large trading post built in Taladi territory at Grand Exchange, but not being part of my um, research station. Let's go over there. Is the autopilot failing me already? No, it isn't. We'll go to second contact. Still don't understand why they refer this over this. This, this, this to me is one, two, this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, not particularly sure on why that is. But we'll see. We'll find out. Okay, so now at least he is listening. It's great. We'll have to save that money. Um, once it's all done, we can start building those defensive stations, but I don't think it's going to be leading to a... I'm not going to bother with that xenon. It's not going to be leading to a shipyard yet i think it's easier to go with manufacturing Entering system. the void let's go over there 
and then we'll head into dangerous territory and we'll get ourselves a additional ship. I just want to completely do this mission during this stream because I, I despise this mission. I honestly hate this. Now, um, the other mission from the, uh, the Terrans will bring you in contact with the Yaki. And I'm still very relentless on how to deal with that because I kind of want them as friends because they have some amazing they, they got so they got a five forward slot medium ship which is just amazing having five you can have three guns and a missile bay it's the the best absolutely uh, I want to have contact with the Argon because the Argon engines apparently are the best and that's why I want to have a good relation with all of them before we start backstabbing them. And we will. We will backstab them. So here is my minus. And they had to take the long way around because I have Getsufune set up as a, a no-fly zone. Should have thought about that before, actually. They had to go all the way over here. Otherwise, they would have gone through the void. They would probably be here already. That's awkward. Okay, how long? He doesn't even know. He is uh, currently just researching by it, trying to find it. And uh, once we get this going... It's good. We also don't need to fill these up completely, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. If we need to destroy it, we will. Okay, so we have to find the navigational buoys, fly over to the locations, find the ship. We won't find the research assistant, I think she died, but oh well. So here's my ore miner heading over to Grand Exchange. And I do think I want to use Terran only mining ships as well. I think that just because we, we're Terrans. We can use the ships, but we can use different modules. And eventually we'll also get the Asgards, and I don't mind the modules they're on. If there are better shields out there, I don't mind getting them. Same for engines. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll start with this one first and then we'll head over to the one that's nearest then. Could also be a drop box or log box, uh, considering we're flying towards... A 
system. My shields will be out anyways, so I don't think we need this one. I'm thinking we need that one. Or that one. Try to get in closer. Uh, this is taking a long time. Because this one's purple, question mark. Ah, it has to be that one. Oh, never mind. You need to get out. It's actually eroding my hull. Okay, so that we actually do need to focus on finding the first one. I hoped we could get a shortcut. I think that's the one then. All to make sure you don't get the ship before you need to. Mines. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, we need some nav beacons then. For crying out loud. Uh, now, we could dock here. I will repair. And we'll get back into this mission. We'll pick up um, uh, 10. We know we need to be over there, which is... Hopefully not disappearing on us. There is a nav beacon. The first one and then it will just probably just get us inside following a certain pathway. Okay, the large container unit is being constructed. How is the exchange currently Burnham's Triumph? Holy crap, you are slow as... Hell. My mining ships are already mining in here. At least one of them is. And these are in the Black Hole Sun. So they, they actually did take the, uh, the shortcut. I like it. Damn, all the save again. Should have remembered the uh, nav beacons. Uh, we'll pick up um, some nav beacons, some uh, satellites and all. I don't like flying 
left then right to go left to right again but at least these guys are now working we'll wait until this is done uh looking at the funds for construction our goods have not yet arrived i wonder who will actually buy it Actually, we made half a million. Yeah, we sold over 50,000 energy cells. So that's good news. Some ice heading in here. Why ice? Why, why ice? Do we need ice? I don't think we need ice. Ooh, now that, that's a number, 28 million, and it's because of the ores. I don't think these ships can actually keep up. Like, the gas miners are doing fine. It's, it's halfway there. Even they are a bit on the low side. He brings silicon. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Hey, we need large ships. Ugh. Or I need an army of uh, of those others. Um, okay, there's the station. The Argon Equipment Dock. Nice looking system, though. Yeah, I like it. I like how it looks. Let's, uh, let's help him. Apparently he doesn't understand that we need to go to the station instead. Like going around the station. And I don't particularly care too much about the asteroids right now. We, uh, we will repair our ship. Get docking permission the second we fly in it. Docking granted. Okay. Here we go. Can we repair our ship here? Well, good to know. We'll do it like this. We'll add 10 of the satellites and nav beacons. Repair our ship, confirm that. We could talk to that fella, but currently, like I said, I want to finish this damn mission. So let's go map, mission, Second assistant. I don't like that it's called second assistant. But oh well. Now let's go. We'll fly there. We'll get that um, signal going up again. Let's take a look if it actually is still there. In the void. Okay. Well, we have to fly over here. At least we can still see it on the map, so that is great news. Wow, the medium ship is twice as fast as this ship, which is just insane. It is insane. Okay, let's take a look at... Actually, we'll go autopilot. Stations. Seems like this one's now done. Configure the station. Okay. So, we now have a large container. Uh, we're going to be flipping this guy. Remove you. We're going to be adding some vertical segments. Actually, no. We'll add the large liquid. Over there. 
Then we will add one vertical. And we cannot. Okay, that's good to know. So, uh, confirm those changes. Close. Building, computeronic substrate. And we're going to be... Well, we don't need to lower... We, we can actually lower it over here. But also, let's make it a free. And we'll do it like this. Buy license. Continue. Medium. Then I want the hexagon. Dock. Why are you complaining? Okay, so you actually need a 4x4, four four, huh? That's dumb. Fine. There you go, then. Buy license. Continue. Okay. Now we can also... We can almost remove this. And then we'll add a different container on this. And we can actually expand. Now, I don't want it to go wide. I want it to go tall. So we'll build up over here. We'll build a bit looking different than this. We don't need too much of this. Because this is draining our resources like crazy. That's... Uh, Apparently, he doesn't need funds, which he, of course, is lying about. He, he needs, because he is currently doing this job. He's removing that. We potentially don't need to supply the funds, though, but yeah, I will. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, stop. Because you're being a dumbass. Yeah, where the hell are we? Okay. Set the guidance over there. Try to go around this. Maybe we can pass through it fast enough to not get too, dam too much damage. Laser Towers Mark 2. Okay, stop. Map. Mission. I wonder how long it will take. I got my finger here on the one button to activate my weapons. Okay, stop it. Let's let's look around. There's one over there. There's one over there. We're heading into a cloud. So far, no damage.
I want to be a bit careful with this. I kind of don't want to die. Because I don't feel the need to actually having to redo this. It's a bit too, too long for me. There we go. We're extremely close to these laser towers. So far, so good. They've not activated. That's the nav beacon. Receiving data. Apparently my dogs are waking up. We'll wait over here. Come on, get it going. Okay, we'll have to find the others as well, damn. Oh, I see what's going on. I'm, I'm dense. Okay, okay. This is what we'll do. We'll head over there. We'll need to be closer to... I was feeling... I thought it would snake me into a safe direction, but apparently we need to get extremely close to these damn laser towers. Yeah, I'm dense. <laughs> That's so dumb. That is dumb. That's really dumb on my behalf. Sorry for that. The funny thing is, I I've done this mission before, and every time I keep forgetting this bit. Now, I think we need to do this with all four of the, um, the things. Looks like... Okay, there's two more signals. One is over there. Let's go towards it. I'm not going to be as careful anymore. I had the... the, the, the diff uh, just a different idea with this mission. Should we keep the right area? There we go. Seems like a ship. Yeah. 
Can I use this one? Okay, now this one's just part of the mission then. Okay, fine. We'll drop one. I'm stuck behind my nav beacon. How funny is that? There you go. Don't see it corroding just yet. Ah, oh, that's not heading into the right direction. I think we need to go over there. We'll head towards where they say danger and then we'll drop the nav beacon. I'm thinking it's this cloud. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Okay, go back. Hull damage. No shit. Okay, it doesn't appear we're getting more damage here. That's definitely the cloud. Nav beacon. It up. That's my nav beacon. Let's line up the shot. Hazardous region detected. Oh. Oh. No, actually, it's trade. Damn. Give it a bit of a boost. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Target acquired. There we go. Well, target acquired is all nice, but... Drop in another nav beacon. Target lost. You got to be kidding me. Target acquired. 
danger. It's a case of the nerf beacons and has ceased operations. You will need to send in another one for her to find her way out. Okay, so apparently we can now just head over to the ship. I'm worried about this. Okay, the Gold Realm actually um, are now somewhat friendly with us. And we're going to be sending this guy to repair. Hello. All damage. Docking denied. All damage. Oh, this is so annoying. I hate space to travel. Let's see, there's something I probably should hit. I don't know why it does work right now. It has Terran shield, it seems like. Okay. Number three. Let's tell you to repair. And then I'm most likely sending him towards the Terran Wharf. Apparently we need to go to the Stellar Sol Terran Solar Power Plant, which strikes me as a bit odd. Fine. Uh, we'll go there, and hopefully there is actually another save which I'm really appreciative of. Ah. <sighs>
Oh, I hate this mission. I hate this mission. Oh, it's so important. But especially, I just don't do puzzles well. <laughs> I'm horrible at puzzles. So, um, I'm not looking forward to the second part of this mission where we'll fly to the tourist station and we'll have to do the damn puzzle. But we'll find it out. We'll find out what to do. Um, we'll start with the first ones once we actually arrive to the main port and destroy all of the turrets. Entering system. Not particularly sure what he was complaining about a second ago, but uh, we'll just go here. Apparently, I took some minor damage, and he's whining about it. We can always repair it ourselves. Okay. So, what I just did last time is just I've flown on autopilot over there and it was able to reach it. It's sometimes a bit dicey, especially just when you f jump through a gate. But usually you should be able to manage it on autopilot. Um, because he just immediately goes into travel mode and it's precisely what you do if you fly it yourself you just have to need to you need to get the hell out of there and that's it Be wary. There are in this that's fine so we'll do that stop your whining he is damn annoying Now we do have a bit of damage, and as soon as we are in the Taurus station, we will be repairing our ship with the repair laser. Uh, let's snake our way over there. I'll try to focus a bit more on this mission instead of just going to see how my other stations are doing. Uh, Quite frankly, I don't expect them. There you go. Command, I'm getting odd readings here. Shouldn't Key Patrol have reported Xenon presence? It's the Terran station. No Xenon insertion past the gate. Might be a hiccup in that old program. I'll run sanity checks. This is. Just going to be the same. You get a warning. You go into your traveling mode. And you'll just fly out of that. As long as they're not in a single line. Well, luckily we didn't build the, uh, the Terran defensive station. So we'll be getting scanned. Pretty 
probably double the orbital defense station over here. And there's also a patrol fleet. Entering Venus. Uh, the worst possible location for us is over here. There's two defensive stations. Uh, actually, no, this is the support station. This is the defensive station. And then it is pretty much a smooth ride till that location. So last time I wasn't too worried about it. There's another one, see? And you will see that this this, this, this is the timer. Now we will go through this gate. We're about to leave it already. Negative. There you go. Nothing going on. The timer is really... Entering the, moon. entering the moon. Well, I rather hoped we we're entering the space around it, but... There we go. Out of it. Into the next one. We're flying sideways, which is always fun. Intercepting transmission. Nothing to report. Must have been a blue. Tell the quartermaster that our scanners need a complete overhaul. Find this mission quite funny because we are actually allowed to get into this sector. So if we just flown with our own idea, we probably would have no problems, except for the weird as design. So they're overcomplicating this mission, as a Terran cadet. For the others, I can see where it could be weird. Okay, next up, looks over here, there is a patrol. So this is probably the Rangers. We're jumping right now. There's the patrol. And we're about to leave the range. And there we go. Intercepting transmission. Command, reporting signature readings in violation of Penal Code 2025 AGI Act. Still looking for the source. It can't be far. There you go. Disengage. Destination reached. Analyzing Taurus wreckage. Mapping possible entries. Okay, let's get closer. Let's get closer and let's get this damn mission out of the way. And we don't have to repair our ship until we... Okay, there's three possible entrances and I've I think last time I started with that one. I believe it's actually one of the first one on this angle. I think that is your exit over there to the left. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, but we have good shields. I think it's actually this one. Possible entry confirmed. Awaiting breach. Yeah. I believe you will always get some damage during this mission. 
We just have to fly in. Make sure you get your repair laser. You will need your, uh, your gun at a later point, but your repair laser right now is uh, basically all that you need. We are looking for a switch. It's very possible it's over there. Let's take a look. There you go. That was difficult to see. At least it will open up the gate and we'll uh, we'll have a second to repair the ship. Awaiting pilot. Docking granted. Your colleague seems impressively capable in some ways, but she does not seem to trust in her own piloting skills. Docking avoided. Docking granted. Let's fly in it. Welcome, pilot number three. Danger. Hazardous regions if weapons operational. So that one's locked. We can now no longer escape. <sighs> Let the nightmare begin. I don't want to get too near to it. Okay. Uh, let's get our repair laser. Uh, repair the owl. Give it some time. 93. I hate that guy. If he if he stops talking, I can at least see. Okay, we're at one hundred percent. Good. Now we go through the hatch. We could use the gun. It has better range. We still have two EMP bombs, but looks of it. Not that we'll need those. Ooh, that's some lighting. Uh, usually, I believe it's around the corner. There you go. Give it a second. I want to see if we can open this door. No. Okay. Well, fine. We'll head over for the next one. Don't fly through the uh, the green. It will kill you. I've tried. Now we need to get back. Welcome to Source Internal Segment Number Thirty Four, Subsegment Storage. 
requesting identification and where transfer permit. I have finished the teleportation research. Yeah, get closer. Okay, go to the aisle. If that ship blows, you are dead. <laughs> I believe it's actually gaining some damage right now. He's just worried about the ship. Cover there we go. Welcome, pilot number three. Command rejected. Boost aborted. Stop. Awaiting breach. Get out. <sighs> we have to go back to that first one, or just shoot this. I think that might be enough. Because now the door ain't opening. We we'll probably have to repair. Don't get in the uh, green shot. Dude. Seriously, you got to stop that. The most annoying thing in this mission is him. Could you just go? Okay, go, 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 go. Don't get into the green. Could you, for fuck's sake? <laughs> Sorry for that. And you can see that my health meter is going down. I believe this is the only time you might want to rush. And you will heal up as soon as you get on board. Slowly aim there. Ooh, overshooting. Good juju. Okay, I'm, I'm getting... <laughs> it's me, it's me, it's definitely me. Um, give me a second to regain myself. Okay. We need to do something with those four switches. Well, as long as you don't shoot me, it's good. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, we got... There we go. Shoot you. That's one. Okay. That was easy. Okay, 
Now, there's going to be a part where you do need to do a bit of combat. I suggest you save. Because even drones can be extremely annoying. I'm getting very much annoyed by how my sp the space you travel is so damn irritating. Okay, got an hour. Yeah, we're fine. You are advised to remain at your current location. Do not proceed. You have been warned. Cover deactivated. Of course I will proceed. Can't go through there. Uh where's that opening? There. I think the other way will open now. Oh, the gate. Let's take a look. Well, it's not the gate. But do I have to go from there? That is the... Oh, of course, yeah. You're going to this maintenance shaft. Love the stations designed out. It's a shame that the Terrans did change their designs. I'm not sure what hostile that is, but there is. Oh, yeah, we're getting close there. There is a switch, and it needs to be repaired with the repair laser. Okay, come on. Awaiting pilot. Docking granted. Let's go back. I don't know if you can go through this. I think we are actually able to do it. It's not green. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Docking avoided. Docking granted. It doesn't have shields, by the looks of it. Cover activated. Terran protectorate. Welcome to pilot number three. Weapons operational. I think this is the part where you find those drones. Yeah. Uh, by the bottom of this, there are drones. Proximity alert. Hostiles detected. So I'm going to be saving here, just in case. Luckily, it's not that far away. Once we bypass these drones, it is... Uh, it's almost at the puzzle, which is going to be busting my balls. Hopefully not. Hopefully, um, I'm a bit smarter now. Just, just tap, tap it. Save. Okay. Finally. Now, these, um, these turrets do a buttload of damage. I 
don't remember if it's one or two rooms where we'll have to do this. One room. And I think there's like six? Six turrets? There's a bunch indeed. Uh, the seven. Uh, the first ones are the most difficult. Okay. They're behind that structure. Luckily, they, they aren't the fastest. Okay, I think those are the ones we can take down pretty easily. Maybe these ones as well. You can fly under it. Possible that you will have to do. Two more to go. Actually, that yeah, this ain't that difficult. Very good. Um, we'll fly over by the side. We'll start to the left. You don't have to circle to the right. Just two turrets remaining. Not fair. It's one. There we go. Uh, I think we can actually do these if they are... We might be able to sh just shoot them from inside. There we go. Now, let the nightmare begin. Because I think this is the central room and... Yeah, I hate this. Seriously hate puzzles. I think it's like three, five, I will see, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with this because this is just horrible, okay, activate data switches, And these are the repair laser. Uh, we'll start with three. We'll see what it says. 
if it act if it's uh, activating four as well. Just the range of these things are annoying. Um, and then it is... I'm not sure, it could be five. Okay, so it, it basically is three and six pr probably then. This will activate three. Activated switch four. Affected switch five. Okay, so they are both green. That's good. So three, five, four, let's do six. And hopefully it will activate five. Activated switch six. Affected switch five. Okay. Data transfer resumed. You are not authorized. Booting firewall. Okay, okay, uh, let's start with three. Activated switch, three, affected switch, four. Okay, those are now green. Now, that I don't like, he's re re uh, rerouting nodes. Uh, let's do five again because six is locked. And we might have to do four again later, like like we did last time. Activated switch five. Affected switch four. four. Bypass detected. Rerouting nodes. Let's go to four. Okay, now it is three and four are active. If I do five, I did five, it activates four. Let's go here. Let's go to one. Should I do two? I'm thinking, let's try one. Okay, uh, so we got one. Oh, uh, that's annoying. One, two, three, four. I can now do six.
Okay, these are act these are covered up currently. So we went three, five, four, one. But currently, seven and eight are locked. And I'm thinking six. I don't know why. I'm thinking... No, six is covered up as well. Five would activate four. Well, we'll go ahead. We'll try it. No, it was six. Something there. No, they're still covered up. Right? Are you covered up? Yeah, you're defended. We can do... Yeah, we can basically just take everything back like the way it is. But these are now open. Okay, let's do seven. Hopefully it will activate eight. Activated switch. Seven. Affected switch. Eight. Okay, that's good. Bypass detected. Rebooting nodes. Though they are not covered up. We can do one or was it two we started with two that would activate one activated switch two affected switches one three okay Are you going to deactivate 7? I'm thinking he's going to deactivate 5. I'm not sure. Activated switch. 6. Affected switch. 5. Then... 4. No. Five. Five activated four, right? And this is where I usually go absolutely insane. We did three, we did five to deactivate four. I think this is good. Activated switch. Five. Affected switch. Four. Okay, we we're good. Okay, well, that took me uh, a, a lot less long than previously, <laughs> where I spent an hour here. Ad is starting soon. Okay. I believe there's going to be explosions.
collected data has been allocated. We are at the rendezvous point and ready for transfer. That was not that bad, actually. Wow, I'm actually, um, I'm surprised. I am actually surprised. Because this took me so damn long last time. Uh, no docking computer mark to your teams. There's no docking computer whatsoever. There we go. I think a Mark 1, perhaps. You're a bit late to guide me. And they're actually on the move. It does look like a fun little ship, though. They're guiding. They're guiding us away from them. Uh, let's go talk to Dr. Rick. Data transfer completed. At last, we will be able to terraform. At least turn my way. You've done what? I can't believe it. It's all there. We have the results for our research. With this, we can immediately put Project Genesis into execution. Gaian prophecy will be terraformed. Thank you, Boros. Okay, what will you do now? With the new technology, we can make a proper attempt to terraform some of the planets and give our people a home world. You played a big role in this, and for that, we are grateful. Uh, I don't care about the, about the freelance, it will get the same thing. What about the station we can have? What kind of terraforming? We now have access to rather advanced terraforming projects. That will be required to undo some of the terraforming damage inflicted by the Xenon on Sagaris. I still can't believe that we are about to achieve what we first set out to do. At last, our people will have a home world. Cool. Uh, let's go back. Again, great thanks to you for the part you played in this. Farewell, friend. Assistant, I still have the terraforming data we worked so hard to obtain and assemble. We too now have the knowledge to implement new, exciting terraforming projects. Terraforming, eh? I did hope that we'd dig up something more useful to us spacefaring folks out here. Nonetheless. Certainly prove useful in our shaping the gateway world. Okay, interesting. Oh, I find the in the terraforming stuff quite interesting, fun. The idea is fun, at least. Let's go um, to the owl. But we'll uh, we'll kind of wait until he jumps because he, I believe, is in the middle of a jump or he's about to jump. Off. Let's see how that goes actually when we're on top deck. Sure. 
Then uh, we want to check out how far our computeronic substrate factory is, as well as that with our main base. Get a plot in Napoleon's fortune, claim that territory for ourselves, and start building over there as well. We've got 15 million to play around with, so that's always fun. Although safe, thank you, don't have to do this ever again. Still don't like this mission, I'll be honest. I, uh, it takes forever, especially the first time I've tried it. Uh, it took me an, well over an hour uh, because it's, the entire puzzle just didn't make sense. Also, it was in the middle of my night, it was 3 a.m. or so. Um, it does affect your thinking capabilities, <laughs> so to speak. Let's take a look here. While we wait for the autopilot, what the hell is going on? I'm, uh, I'm waiting for the, um, the bits and pieces for my chair so it just wouldn't make that much noise again. Apparently the uh, seat is um, a bit weird. Oh, stairs is on the other side. Why bother building two? Why bother building two? Oh, what the hell just happened? Entering the moon. Okay. Wow, it uh, slung me quite a distance by uh, the looks of it. We don't have a pilot for the ship. So, there's a few things we can do. We can go autopilot all of our ships over to our uh, Grand Exchange headquarters. We can get our medium ship there. We, uh, we definitely want to get something going. So, let's set up guidance. And we'll get our other ship who is patiently awaiting over here. And we'll do the same thing. There's one thing that I am scared of. And that is... I don't know if this ship will behave the same way as uh, the other one will do with the Xenon stuff. But we'll find out right now. We're going to be putting it on autopilot. There is an auto save. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at... What are you lacking? Because it seems like you're... Stock oh I always have to be so damn quick to catch one of my dogs, otherwise they will kill each other, which is quite annoying. I got myself a big box! Seat ding parts, I think. I want to check that out. Uh, I'm not professional, I know. Um, yeah, it's seating parts. Yes, I can fix that damn chair. Entering Venus. Ooh. That that actually scared the living shit out of me. And, and do you know what's the annoying bit? Is I just checked like my phone and it was still in transfer and not ready to be delivered. So it was supposed to be still in Germany. Entering Mars. I'm 
still overwhelmed by it. Sorry that it is such a bloody mess. <sighs> Sorry for that. Okay, let's take a look. Where were we? Uh, apparently, we are... Are we flying? We are flying. Is there a cover activated? There is none. Okay, that's good news. As long as that is the case, it's fine. How is the Grand Exchange doing? So my Baldrick is not doing anything. How's the research going? Seems like we got now teleportation one completed. Let's go and start the secondary. Uh, let's get it money because we got plenty of it. Let us go to this bit. Are we now making computronic substrate? It seems like we are not. And I think we're just missing a whole bunch of ores here. Now, the reason why we have this is we won't be selling it, of course. But we want to make sure we can start building our bases quite near to this uh, research department, research station. Let's take a look. It is actually completely done. That's good. So all of this will eventually disappear. We will start claiming that territory in Napoleon's fortune for ourselves. We're going to be selling the uh, stimulants. Because, well, that will make us money in here. It's not illegal in these bits because it's our own territory. Let's go ahead, and we're not going to be getting a too large a station. Uh, two by two by two would be fine for now. And I just want to place this damn contraption right next to the damn gate. Uh, eventually, we'll just have a fleet in here as well. But that is going to be... Well, we are going to be playing around. We might need to send our ships over here to defend that bit. This is it. Right in front of the gate. Let's give it a luxurious docking port. It's it's up. It's too high. Love it. Okay. We need to have an admin center. The void. Look, look what it's... It, it, when I click it, sometimes it just completely flips it around. Do I want it like this? No, 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 not really, no. Let's uh, overhead view. Flip that around. Yeah, that looks better. It's complaining. So we'll do it like this. We want to use the discs. The discs have more weapons, I believe. Let's take a look. They have four large and eight medium. And the bridges have four large, eight mediums. They're, they're about the same. Um, the one thing is we can do both of them. It feels like this one has more range to it because it has weapons on all sides i believe i do have oh i don't have weapons yet oh we don't have large weapons i have mediums so we can start doing like pulse and shield Entering system through sight. let's see what if we add you sideways Do the same thing with you. Would you fit? You won't. Entering system. Holy vision. Select, please. Thank you. Why not? What are you complaining about? I think we need to go big backwards. Entering system. Aren't effective claim. Oh, a bit backward. System. That fits. Now, I would like to do that same thing over to the other side. So we'll move it a bit more to the left. 
that's why I like these Darren docking ports. They are absolutely fun to play around with. They have so many connection points. Uh, it's, they, they've done a great job with, you know, the builder, but it just connects like shit currently. There we go. Entering system. No believest. Don't think it's actually straight in there. Hmm. Entering system. Grand exchange. I don't think is it centered? What do you guys think? Uh, I think it's okay. Copy the sequence. Add it over there. This is quite some firepower. Of course, we won't be filling it all completely. And can we fit this underneath it? No, it's it's basically what Scar is, is wrong is the size of this plot. So confirm these changes. Now let's go back to this plot. We'll bring it to four doesn't cost us anything. We're, we're claiming this territory, nevertheless, so yeah, we don't care. Let's put a hexagon under it. Like so. Yeah, that, that's fine. This is... Um, it seems like we are somewhat centered by the looks of it right now. Okay, so we need 5,000 energy cells, we need 718 computeronic substrate, and we need silicon carbide. Of course, that ain't it. Uh, let's go with high preset. Will that work? Not really, no. Wow, there's, there's no change whatsoever. Interesting. Do that and do one of those. Do that on uh, on these heights. Eventually, I want missiles in here as well because that's funny. Actually, that's that's a lot of crap. You don't need to do that. You just fill this up. It's just. So it doesn't get destroyed by um, the pirates. We can own we we if we just do the bridges because this is going to be expensive. Um, uh, M only. Uh, confirm these loadout changes. Doesn't really say it, it's mainly silicon carbide. Now we're aiming with, with our research station, we're aiming for two and a half thousand computer substrate and ish on a silicon carbide. So let's go with the bridge. I think this is the one that we did, right? Yes. For always just confirm it because otherwise you'll get the message nevertheless. We'll do the same thing over here, medium only. Uh, we'll get some larger weapons later. Uh, this bridge. Now we need to confirm. This This will jump this up like crazy. Uh, but for now it's enough. For the future, definitely not. 
<laughs> Definitely not. Okay, uh, keep a good eye on this guy. 7, 18, 5, 3, and 14, 8, changing into a bit more. Uh, we are also creating micro letters. It's not that difficult to obtain. We also have that a uh, Baldrick that is currently trading wares. It, it it should also be selling. But what are you trading, mate? Advanced electronics and selling it to the Grand uh, Grand Station. It's fine. How much do we need for teleportation? 200 antimatter converters that will all go how's my relation with everyone the pioneers at plot 16 terrence 23 We've got some work to do with the others uh hull damaged yeah whatever Get that going. So we'll, we'll claim Napoleon's fortune for ourselves. We'll start production over here. We'll get it off the headquarters. We'll be using large docking stations over there, especially when we get started in this sector. And we will most likely make sure we have to defend it. Uh, not to the teeth. We'll, uh, we'll use our stations for that to defend some of the ships. We'll use Terran um, Mining. We'll do it the same way we did it over here. Well, we have designated mining stations, just making sure we have a, a quick look on what it is that we need. What are you doing, mate? What's your problem? It's the money. It's the money. And that's why, because he's, he's not reacting. The day use f money. You, you, you don't lose it, but you still have to use it. This can go. Trade for build storage that will eventually trigger. What is it that you need? Get rid of the anti matter cells. We don't need those anymore. Silicon carbide. So my high tech factory has silicon carbide. Stop whining and get that stuff. Get your act together. Okay, we are at our base. Docking, Docking is granted. Uh, I will get my medium ship. From here, I will also dock it the Terran stuff. Is that have that solar power plant? We flipped it a bit just for uh, fun. I know, made no sense. Let's get over here. Let's go fly over here. We got all of our ships. Oh, I forgot, I don't have a docking computer mark two on this contraption. Back up. Stop. There we go. I might have to send it just to make sure that we got it. Uh, but for now, it's an honor to have you aboard. I know the it's honor. An honor to have you aboard. Docking granted. This definitely needs a better docking computer. Some dock. God damn it, I do it again! <laughs> you stupid bastard. Get down here, idiot. Okay. Let's not undock this time. Oh man, he's like, dude, seriously? You just want to hear me say it? Okay, where's my other ship? So we got four ships currently all waiting here. Let's get to the Katana. My mining ships are busy. Um, do that again. Yeah, something's w wrong with that. There seems to be a bit of lag going on. Maybe this will... Um, Trigger it to actually get going. There is plenty of stuff to go around. Might take a bit. It's fine. I will uh, probably let the game run for the uh, the rest of the day anyways. Uh, let's take a look how much money we made. That is okay. Computer substrate is actually costing me a bit of money. Because we did increase the ore 
production. Oh, wow. Really? I don't see any pirates around, so... Oh, that's fine. Just let that go for a while. Uh, how about you? Making me a good amount. Okay, good. Power plant, 1.1 million. That is fine. These are slowly filling up by the looks of it. Almost halfway full. Nice. I am very happy that we got into this direction. Some people don't understand. It's fine. I like doing it like this. What I don't like is wasted energy cells down there. Energy cells, 14,000. Quite a bit. Like I said, we'll, um, we might have to defend it if we see that it is being attacked. Did I get a builder? I don't think so. Builder are, are quite useful for making sure your construction site is somewhat secure. They do have weapons. Give you the money. Let's see what will happen. Will we get anything done here? We have that Baldrick going everywhere. I just want to build one more. One more Baldrick. Don't understand why he is not triggering. Why are you not doing anything? Actually, there we go. He is getting silicon carbide. Way to go. Well done, dude. Well done. Almost proud of you. I do hate station messages. I wish you could turn them off. Because there is no hostile in sight. What I do want to do is eventually make like a larger station over here. Uh, that is going to be trading whatever it is that we have. Because I do want to make money. And I don't want all of these ships in the entire universe to just crash upon my factories. There we'll go, there we'll go. The Katana. What kind of missions do we have? Terran versus the Xenon. Uh, we can go back towards the Terran ter territory. Or we can start to activate the jump gate. Don't want to do that just yet. Um, thinking we might just take all of our ships. Put it into a fleet. Head over to the pirate's trail. Um, we'll have a bit of combat going. We might lose one or two ships. That is fine. I don't care. It's money. Money is time. It's all fine. Uh, this will go. We need... Hmm... I'm worried about this. So it was building up here, 49, and it is dropping. Um, I should be worried. I should be worried. I don't care about that 1.5 mil, uh, 105 million over there. They don't need that. So what we will do is we'll leave this one over here. Uh, we'll take the katana, and we're going to be putting these two to defend Commander Alpha. Uh, let's rename this fleet to Private Fleet. Fine. Private Fleet we will use to... Get started. We keep the owl. They are going um, outside. We are heading towards our katana that got other weapons today because those lasers were just horrible. I don't ever want to use lasers again. Could you get off my seat? Are oh. you bored out of your sky? Are you watching that? You should have flipped around. You didn't. Let's unlock. Of course, yeah, you, uh, you're on the medium slot. Uh, we have proton barrages. And we have two laser turrets on the back. We'll be flying back towards the Terran territory. We might come across the, um, the terraforming mission. I don't think that is going to happen. If it does, we won't be doing it anytime soon. At least not... Not right now. I love auto saving, huh? Isn't it the, the best? 
11 more minutes until I unfortunately have to stop and I can start working my chair because that actually does need to happen. Let's take a look now. Oh yeah, that's way better. That is way better. This ship... This ship is twice as fast as anything we've owned. The small ships from the Terrans are just useless. They're so slow. They are absolutely slow. We need to go towards the orbital supply base because that is where our uh, Delilah is. So we'll head over there. Auto pilot. And you can, you, yeah, this ship is just so damn fast. The others will not be able to get uh, to keep up. Let's go over here. That all looks fine. These guys are busy. Okay, so they're building the liquid storage. Once that is done, we're going to be removing the medium storage. And we are going to... But these guys, just, they, the traders, they cannot keep up. But I don't want to go large ships just yet. Uh, we will give it... Yeah, hydrogen is barely keeping up. I want to give it 10 ore traders. They will bring in 880 per time. So that's 8,800. They will need to do that run at least three times to keep one going. Oh my god, they will not make it with 10. And we need to get like 100, silic 100 chips on this silicon refinery. Because this is going to run dry. So what we'll do right now is we'll go here, medium size. Let's go, not the gas miners, you dumb dumb. Mineral miners, we go ore miner. And we go ore trader. They're just more, they have defensive weapons and uh, I gave them uh, missiles. Because I felt that was a good idea. With the smart missiles as well. They have not used it so far. They've not been in combat. But at least they can defend themselves. Just a bit of fun playing around with. The ore miner. We have currently 15. I think we want to double that up. And we had 3. So we'll go with 7. Is that enough? Leaves us 13. System. Not done yet. We have 15 over there, but we also need regular ore. Now, regular ore is not that difficult to obtain, so we'll do... Let's do 30. All of our cash. Confirm that order. All of our cash will go there. Because currently, it's... it's Lacking the ore and silicon to keep this going. And it will require... It's currently... This is calculating one, right? This is just one taking 18,000. Uh, we know that it's 72,000 per hour to keep everything up and running. Uh, 72... Let's see how many runs that is. Uh, let's go calculator. Give you guys something to watch. There we go. Uh, 72 divided by 880. Sorry, 72,000 divided by 880. That would be 82 runs. Damn. So 82 runs, 60 minutes divided by 82. They That doesn't work like that because now it's calculated it as 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 is 75. 50 would be 30, 75, 40. For every 45 seconds, a ship would need to dock. That sucks. That's uh, not going to happen. Okay, how is the ore station? Ore station by itself is having a good amount. So it currently has 5 minus. We will increase that by 5. These are still building. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ore station. 
line for Commander Alpha. You'll get one more. Uh oh. Did I not turn on the names of my trade ships? That would be awkward. As it has mining turrets, it's good. If, I don't know why it's going to be a trader. So these are all okay. Give you one more. Mine for Commander Alpha. It's enough ore. Mining turret. Mine for Commander Alpha. You will level these guys up like crazy. Okay, we're over here. The others are flying over here. So you see how long it actually takes these guys to actually get somewhere. Uh, I'm starting to be uncertain if they have a future with us, to be honest. Two mining turrets. Mining turrets. Mining turrets, that's good. You guys go Silicon, Mindful Commander, Alpha. You will always need Silicon. That's uh, basically it. Mining. Maybe we just build one. <gasps> Did we just build one? Ooh. That would not be enough. Ah. Uh, It's pot potentially what I did. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Uh, mine for Command Alpha. 23 already. 26. There's a lot of ships going to be built. Ships? No, ships. Dum dum. But the regular ore just mines so much faster. Uh, currently, we're in the asteroid belt. And I'm thinking about getting rid of the Getso Fune do not enter order. And... We'll see what happens with that. Okay, well, uh, we'll give it some time here. We just spent a lot of cash on this. All mining. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Entering Mars. Uh, there's one trader. Oh my. Yep, yeah, I just built one. That's not good. Uh, what we will do is we'll wait until we have 10. Uh, we'll just retro uh, refit them, not retrofit them, refit them uh, to be traders. Wait until these are done. Luckily, we have a docking computer mark too. But this ship is so fast. It's absolutely a joy to fly it. Usually that's not the case with your medium ships. This ore trader, he is currently not doing anything, but he will be. Look at that. Plant off the trade. Won't take long until this will get the same. Though they're going to be constantly on the move. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Some miners are getting in. Two, three, four, five. 
Did I just made f make five of them? It's possible. No, we made seven. I made seven traders. That's what I did. Seven traders. All of these are traders. You guys can go here. Silicon. Uh, mine for Commander Alpha. How much do we get out of that? 40. That's a good number. 40 silicon miners are going to be busy mining silicon. And then these guys are all going to be trading for the Computronic Substrate Factory. And we'll sell all of, all of that junk. Mine removal. Not really something I'm too interested in. How is my research going? Currently waiting for the anti-matter converters. Nothing coming in here. We could decide, since we have 11 million committed, to just buy it in. The methane is a problem. Don't need that. It's, um, it's just a matter of resources. So if we give it more time, once this is filled at 2,000. Daily fix only, daily fix only. It's fine. We could turn it off that we'll actually accept that from the other empires who actually trade that with us. That would not be a bad idea. So we'll buy it from other empires if they are willing to deliver it for the research. Except for energy cells. Okay. Uh, these are all done. So I'm going to tell you to trade for station. Trade for commander. Bravo. And he is currently building the docking module. Let's configure this station that looks really wonky right now. You are going to be removing this bit. Confirm that. And we will add another container unit over there. So solid, solid one liquid because we only require uh, one liquid to build these and I want to have some storage over there not that it absolutely is necessary but oh well got some money over there that's good uh, let it go for a while we might need to give it a bit more money give me my cash give you more cash you are currently going to do anti meta converters good so research will continue this will eventually pick up you can see all of these traders are all starting to work until they get this message and even that will eventually change it's currently just building high-tech facility over there solar power plant give me your cash and I am going to be ending the stream then I'll take a look at this if this starts building. If it doesn't, we will use the regular resources for it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be back tomorrow. It's either going to be tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening for X4. We'll also be playing some Stargate uh, for Stellaris. Just an hour or three and a half, and then we'll just do some more X4. And um, yeah, we'll keep building. We'll have to be doing some relationship stuff over here. We'll be claiming 
This system will start building factories. We're going to be building a lot of factories. And we need to get into positive relations enough to obtain some of their modules. Not per se the ships. Not per se the ships. But I'm looking for, like, engines, weapons, all of that good stuff that we can fit on our own weapons to make a very strong fleet. And then we probably just ruin the galaxy. We'll see. We'll see. These guys are still on the way, right? Or did they actually manage to get here? No, they managed to get here. Well done. Only took you an hour. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let this game run for a while. We'll probably continue with teleportation until we reach the giant teleportation of stations. And then what we also do, once this is, uh, is actually starting, is create a few small factories dedicated to uh, silicon carbide and computer substrate and potentially food because we can food we can sell the the medical supplies and the substance the how the hell is it called again where's where's it is called stimulant that is it it's only illegal to the terrans and if we can sell that for four for uh, 340 it would be quite nice to do so uh, it's our own territory and we'll just make a, a huge station at some point here in the Grand Exchange because I think the Grand Exchange is somewhat the center of the damn galaxy. We don't need to trade with Terrence, we will supply that by ourselves over here. Once we get to level 5, we can actually supply all the way to Cigaris. There's no problem, there's no need to do anything, we might have to just add a few traders. We don't need a giant station over there. So... We'll build one in Grand Exchange. For now, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did and you are watching this, uh, it's followers only for the chat. Um, leave me a follow. Interact with me next time. And uh, for those of you watching later on YouTube, you know what to do. Just head over to the uh, description and hit that uh, Twitch link and follow me on Twitch as well. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.